Hello, everyone. Yossi Gestedner here for GestednerUpdates.com. With me on the line now is uh, Mr. Andrew Buff. He is a member of the Assembly in London, and obviously uh, we have now the elections uh, taking place. We still have 45 minutes, I think, for people to vote. Uh, how are you doing, Mr. Buff? I'm a bit exhausted, but yes, you're absolutely right. About 45 minutes left for people to register their support for the mayor. Yeah, now, um, uh, I don't know uh, off the top of my head exactly the, how many uh, seats your party has, the mayor's party has versus uh, the other side, but it's to my understanding that the conservatives, uh, the mayor's party and the prime minister's party, they, they're taking a beating today uh, in generally, but of course, uh, Mayor Johnson is doing well. Yes, absolutely, because I think uh, because uh, Boris Johnson has um, carved out for himself a particular a uh, set of policies, and he is somebody who appeals beyond the party divides. And so, therefore, I think we're going to have a situation where the Conservatives may suffer uh, nationally and indeed in London, but that Mayor Johnson actually does get returned. And uh, how come uh, Livingston didn't have a chance to uh, take the, the dissatisfaction that people have with, uh, with the National Party, the Conservative Party, and the Mayor's Party had translated into votes? Now, it, it appears to be a close election, uh, as far as it looks from here, from the other side of the Atlantic. But at the end of the day, it appears that uh, Johnson is going to come in with, uh, with a win. And, and indeed, a win of more than one or two points. So how come uh, Livingston, as a former mayor, and with the dissatisfaction that people have with the sitting party, how come he wasn't able to capitalize on it a little bit stronger? What's your take? I think it's because Ken Livingston has proved himself to be a very divisive figure. Um, he's tried to play ethnic politics too much um, in terms that um, he's uh, been quite insulting, for example, uh, to the Jewish community in London, who are a very large part of, uh, of the electorate in certain parts of London. And, and uh, I think people have, have responded to that. And, uh, you know, Londoners value their diversity, value the diversity of this city, is the fact that we have race, races, creeds from all over the world living in London. And, we, you know, we get on pretty well. And a divisive figure like uh, Livingston, I think that makes them feel uncomfortable and ma makes uh, some communities feel as though they may be under threat if Livingston were to be returned as mayor. I understand. Um, I, I followed the controversy a few weeks ago about the letter uh, written by a few uh, Jewish leaders or activists uh, in London regarding Livingston's uh, comments, uh, private comments of the copper, of the record comments. So you, 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 you personally think that uh, that example, although uh, denied later, but that example is just one incident where and why uh, people of certain communities, specifically, as you mentioned, the Jewish community, have a problem with Livingston? I think it's because um, they're tired of the type of politics um, that that represents. Um, yeah. And, for example, he's rather, uh, he's, he's, he's tried to, for example, pursue the, uh, the um, uh, orthodox uh, Muslim community in London, who, uh, and he seemed to be trying to um, favor them. Um, now, that actually... You know, other Londoners look at that and they say, well, actually, we don't want any particular group to be favoured. We don't like this playing group, one group against the other. This is not what London is about. It's not what it should be about. That might have been something that um, he could have got away with um, 10, 20 years ago. But now, London, uh, London has matured and we realise that everybody is a stake in London, not just favoured groups. Um, and, and as I say, he has been particularly... Um, insulting. Uh, well, I'm, I, I don't want to say that the guy is anti-Semitic, but what I would say is that he's certainly not sensitive um, to the different cultures of London. I understand. And, and you have to be sensitive to those cultures in a job like that. I understand. Uh, one more final question, because as you said, you're exhausted. Um, and I, to my understanding, uh, you, won't, you, won't have, you won't have any vote counting until in the a.m., until the morning, correct? Yes, I know. I'm afraid it's, uh, it's, it's ridiculous that they have to wait till the next day. Um, yeah. But that's just the way the system is. Um, so yeah. we won't know in the final results until sometime tomorrow afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, finally, we should know just... 
that stuff is Shabbos we should know about that time. But right so. before Shabbos. <laughs> okay, right before Shabbos. All right, I'll, I'll make sure uh, the people in the community know that. But uh, one final thing. Um, do you have any analysis or opinion the implications of today's elections? Although we don't have the uh, results yet, but we certainly have an understanding based on polling and opinion. What are the implications for uh, the national politics going forward uh, now that the... Uh, well, again, the, the yeah. Yeah. If you, if you spend a long time in politics, you realize that, uh, you know, the government in power is going to uh, get a kicking, if you want, in midterm elections. And there's no reason to suppose that this is any different. And I think the Conservatives and Liberal Democrats are both going to be uh, received uh, a bit of a kicking from the electorate because there are certain things they're unhappy with. We've had to make budget cuts uh, of, of a very severe nature due to the financial crisis. And so I expect the Conservatives, uh, you know, to, for us to uh, go down, you know, reduce in strength. Um, um, but you know that in the long term, what matters is that, uh, is, that, uh, is that we get the economy right. And if that means a temporary period of unpopularity, so be it. But the outstanding thing, the thing where this election is different, you know, maybe it's happened in many elections before, but the reason this election is different is because Boris Johnson, as mayor of London, has managed despite the unpopularity of his party, to actually win an election in London. And I think this points to a new kind of politics, a more inclusive politics, the top, uh, which, which involves all communities and doesn't divide them. I understand. All right. Um, in final point, just, uh, it, this can open a whole new conversation, no discussion, so I won't even go there too much. But uh, I, I, <laughs> sitting, sitting, sitting here in New York, we have people on the left claiming that uh, Britain has Austerity and therefore we are in, we are in recession. But I wrote recently uh, on my website, uh, Gisetner Update, that uh, I, I, I reviewed the budget numbers uh, uh, from the national government, the national budget. I think welfare spending is up 29% in 2012 versus 2008. And I don't think you can call that mm -hmm. austerity. Maybe compared to Obama's budget, uh, you can call it austerity, but uh, not in the real world. But uh, yeah. then again, debating the, the economy, uh, we should leave it for a different day. Yeah, perhaps we should. All I would say is that when you compare Britain's economy to the economies of places like Spain and Greece and, and other countries in Europe which haven't exercised austerity quick enough, we can see the results of us not tackling the problem straight away. You know, these, these things, these problems have not to be tackled, not just uh, have to be tackled and not, not just relying on hope that they will go away if we spend enough money. We've tried that before, right. and this is the situation we got ourselves in. But thank yeah. you very much, anyway. It is a whole new debate. Yeah, yeah. We tried that in the United States, and we're still waiting for the results. Okay, sir. Um, yeah. Have a good evening, and uh, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. You're very kind. Thank you.